We are here with episode 30 of the West Ham United career mode. And guys, if you are enjoying this series, you want to see more, smash that like button. I'd very much appreciate it, and it really does help the channel grow. We have an incredible game coming up now, and actually an incredible episode full of massive games for West Ham United Football Club. The first one, obviously, as you can see, is against Real Madrid. It's like our strongest possible team. Better in Lanzini, sure. Even Arcadi, a little bit tired, but I'm sure they can get the result here at Upton Park, which is going to be one of the most testing games for us this season. Followed by a massive derby against Tottenham Hotspur. The player to watch today is Cristiano Ronaldo, even though Callum Wilson has actually got, I believe, more goals than Cristiano. Uh, Real Madrid do line up with an incredible team. Uh, Ronaldo, Benzema, Bal, Rodriguez, Modric, Cruz, Pepe, Ramos, Karin Trell, Danilo and Kaylor Navas. It would be the... Uh, the Real Madrid side that do attack first with Gareth Bale. Bale cuts inside, gets the cross in, but Jack Butland does see that out of play. It's West Ham coming to attack now with Mauro Icardi. Turns away from his mate, falls to Eric Dia. Dia gets the ball into Mauro Icardi, turns, shoots. Cruel deflection off Fabio Corrin and West Ham take the lead inside 15 minutes here. Incredible play from the Hammers with a little bit of luck. And that's what you need in football, just that little bit of luck if you're going to get past Real Madrid. Uh, never give up from Eric Dyer. Their great strength showed um, against Pepe. And that is a really good finish, I believe, from Arcadi. Obviously, it took the deflection off Cohen Trell. We never know if that was actually going to get saved or going in the goal. But we'll take it, nevertheless. And on the 20-minute mark, uh, West Ham come forward yet again. Smelling blood. Luke Shaw puts the ball into the box. It's cleared away by Cruz. Only as far as Pae. Back into Arcadi. But unfortunately, his uh, overhead kick is saved. Ronaldo there comes forward for Real Madrid. Takes on Bellerin, crosses it all the way into the back post. It does actually find Benzema, and it is saved by Butland. West Ham are on the edge as James now comes forward for Real Madrid. Great play from the Colombians, plays it into Cruz, into Ronaldo. That would have been a stunning goal, but it does just go over the bar as Gareth Bale comes forward now for Real Madrid. What can he do? Bale crosses it all the way into the back post. Off of Modric, falls to Benzema. Butland come a long way and didn't get there. And he has cost us as Karim Benzema, the Frenchman, gets Real Madrid back on terms. And you have to look at Jack Butland there. I mean, he's come so far, he has to get the ball there. But Karim Benzema, credit where it's due, put his head in danger. And he found the back of the net. He got a punch in the face for it, but he's celebrating the goal. And Real Madrid are back in this one. As we come forward now, right after that goal, Eric Dyer into the path of Mark Noble. Noble does find Danny Ceballos. Cuts away from current trial. Shoots. And it's the top corner. Would you believe it? West Ham United are 2-1 up. They have switched this game on its head. And they look set now to uh, take this game by a scruff. And just play their football. Going into half-time, that is the perfect, perfect solution for us here. Ball comes into Danny Ceballos, takes the ball away, shoots top corner two from the left midfielder. That is very impressive, and I'm proud of the lad here. As we go into half time, it's clear to see Real Madrid have had the host of chances, but West Ham have finished their chances. That's the difference between the two sides here today. And we're going to the second half, it would be Dimitri Payet onto the loose ball. Loses that to Tony Cruz, not like him. It falls to Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo plays it into Hammers, way over the bar there. If Ronaldo puts the ball into the box, Stones clears. Noble loses that to Hammers. But unfortunately, it does get saved by Butland. As Hammers now gets onto the ball into Modric. Real Madrid are getting rather desperate as Cristiano Ronaldo crosses the ball into the box. Finds Gareth Bale wide of the mark. As West Ham win the corner now. Out of pretty much nothing, the ball comes into the box. Finds John Stones. And it's saved by Navas there. That was goal banned, definitely. As uh, Kennedy, James Tompkins and Callum Wilson all go on. Luke Shaw. Looking a little bit tired, so I don't want to risk that with Gareth Bale running that yet. As Pae does play mobile, does play in to his man Kennedy, but it does just go wide. West Ham come forward on the 82nd minute now. It's Mark Noble. Captain Mark Noble gets onto the ball, gets past Sergio Ramos, shoots, and into the top corner. Kalo Navas is absolutely stunned. Real Madrid is stunned. The world is stunned. West Ham United have made a massive statement here today. An absolute incredible goal from Mark Noble. Just slides past uh, Sergio Ramos like he's not even there. And this is Sergio Ramos we are talking about. One of the best defenders in the world. Credit where it's due though. Mark Noble well deserved. As the ball comes in uh, to Real Madrid again. Cohen Trail does actually find Hammers. Hammers into Isco. Isco shoots just wide of the mark. The game would come to an end. And West Ham United would have a famous victory over the Los Blancos. It is a 3-1 victory that will shock waves 
through the world of football as Eric Dyer takes home man a match in what was a cool, calm, collective finish um, for him today. Um, he played actually very well. As though we do play a game against Leicester, unfortunately it does end in a 1 1 draw despite them being down to nine men. Yes, nine men. Guys, if you are enjoying this video today and you want to see more, smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new around here to never miss content from me ever again. As you can see here, uh, we do get a youth scouting report. Nothing really exciting there. And uh, Diara said that is unfortunately out for two weeks, which is uh, a pain in the bum because we want him to be fit. But Mahmoud Dahoud can come in that centre attack midfield role and do a job. We know this. Spurs, very good side. It is a London derby. It is at White Hart Lane. The question is, will we get the result off the back of an incredible victory against Real Madrid? Tottenham are in second position, but there is nine points between us and them. They do start with Lacazette, Pritchard, Son, Ward, Ali, Bentaleb, Davis, Gondolons, Fazio Walker and Vaughan. Very good side indeed. There's a couple of players out of position, a couple of weird ones, but it is a, a team that has got firepower. As Lanzini gets onto the border, cross it in too fine. Mara Harley, but it does get saved there by Vaughan. Lanzini would come forward now. Uh, he's been hidden everywhere and completely falls to the defender here. It's Manuel Lanzini shoots. Vorm saves. Can Dyer get there? He can't. And Davis does clear it away. Uh, now it would be Tottenham's turn to attack. Or would it? Pae gets the ball off Ward. It's Dimitri Pae now. Uh, cut, cuts to the side. It's Pae. It's saved by Vorm yet again. West Ham getting a little bit frustrated now as Danny Sebalos brings us forward here. Still Sebalos. Danny Sebalos. Got the blocks and sees it out of play. The game comes to a half-time interval. Tottenham yet to have a shot on target. It's been a quite boring game for them. West Ham dominating proceedings so far as Pae lines up a free kick. I mean a corner, sorry, at the start of this half. Comes off the stones and off, I believe, Davis's head. That was going into the back of the net. As the ball comes in yet again. Gonalons clears it away this time. Bentaleb sees it out. Shaw dispossesses man. Falls to Mara Cardi. Vaughan again holds on. As we get a corner here, the ball does fall to Dimitri Pae. Pae does find Danny Sabalos here. Danny Sabalos turns away, shoots off the crossbar. Lanzini, that should have been a finish there. As Mahmoud Dahoud, Mark Noble and Mikel Antonio all come onto the pitch. Oh, we need a miracle here now as Tolisso gets onto the ball. Plays it into the oncoming Antonio. Cuts inside of Kyle Walker. It's Mikel Antonio into the bottom corner. And West Ham United find themselves 1-0 up with 15 minutes left to go in this game. Crucial, crucial goal there from our man Mikel Antonio. Great play from Tolisso. He picked the ball out very well here as uh, our man cuts inside and fired the back of the net. Incredible play. I'm really proud, proud of Antonio there. Five goals in the Barclays Premier League and that is just a stunning, stunning tribute to how good this guy is. Tottenham desperately now trying to get into this game as Tom Carroll gets onto the ball here. What can he do? Gets it into the box, does find Son. Butland saves and it was offside anyway. Into the 90th minute now, West Ham with the counter-attack. The Hood crossed it into find Arcadi. And a great glancing header takes it past Mikel Vorm. And we do make it 2-0. Mara Arcadi celebrating that goal. Which was a really good header. You know, I love seeing headers like that. As he just attacks the ball and just puts it past the goalkeeper. That was really good play there from him. Look at that. That is brilliant. It's great to see. And I'm a very, very happy manager right now. Great play from Mauro Icardi. Seven goals in the Barclays Premier League this season. And the game would come to an end here, guys. We do get a victory against Tottenham. Victory against Real Madrid. And unfortunately, a draw against Leicester. Again, we do continue our charge for that BPL title defence. And... I've been honest, I think it's been one, been one of the easiest seasons to date um, I've ever done. Uh, absolutely destroyed Tottenham there. I don't know if something's changed in the game, but I am playing on legendary, guys. I can assure you that as a Vorm takes home man match, great performance from him. Could have been more than two. But, guys, that is going to bring in today's video. We are 10, yes, 10 points clear at the top of the Barclays Premier League. If you did enjoy today's video, as always, smash that like button. If you are new around here, subscribe too. As always, I hope you have a really nice day, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Peace. Whole City one. Tottenham Hotspur nil. West Ham United two. Swansea City one. Watford one. West Bromwich Albion two. Cardiff City nil. So what do those results mean for the league?